say it. I'm gonna say it now. Not for us. Would I come back to this part? So we're in Tapas Alley. Red is just polishing off. What is that? I'm having cheese because you don't like it. Um, I've got a little fish one. I had salmon in. Pippa's not had anything yet, but she lives in Hope. And so does Dolly. Just behind us here is Tapas Alley, and this yeah. is the famous place where you come in Benidorm Old Town and get your tapas. Well, we've already had ours today in Tapas Alley, it was very nice. So yeah, Tapas Alley I would say is a must visit. Yeah, you will, as you go down, the restaurant owners and staff will come out and try to entice you into their restaurant, and it all does look really good to be fair, doesn't it? It does, yeah, I mean, most of them have got the same. Yeah. But that's part of the experience. But yeah, if you like tapas, that's the place to go. Really nice. Definitely. Although we have seen other tapas places, but I have to say, where we ate, the tapas was stunning. It really was beautiful. It was very good quality. Um, and some of the other places we've seen, which were perhaps a bit cheaper, uh, you could tell the quality wasn't quite the same. It's still good enough. It's still fine, wasn't it? But, yeah. Um, uh, very different from the tapas we had up the coast. There we go. Yeah, totally. I think we had five courses of tapas. Yes. Uh, five courses of tapas, two colours, yeah. and it came to under thirty pounds. Yes. So it's not bad, really. And it was fresh. It was tasty. Yeah. Recommended. And guess what? I had what I chose. Nothing got nicked. I didn't want anything of this, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, we'll carry on walking. You gotta climb in the hill into the old town. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yes, it's um, definitely a nice part of Benidorm, the old town. <laughs> we enjoyed Tapas Ali. The food was good. And lots of choice too. And I actually got to eat what I chose. <laughs> I didn't steal anything. Plus, I ordered things for him that I knew he would like. Yeah, anything with cheese you don't like, so. Cheese. No, I don't, but I know you like it, so I ordered yeah. it. Yeah, so. Wander up here. I don't know quite what to expect from up here. I've not been up this bit before. No, uh, we've it? just been down that way. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it now. Not for us. Some of you probably like it, and it's for other people, yeah. but it's not for us. I mean, we found Tapas Alley, really nice. Yep. Good prices and so much choice. Mm -hmm. Really good. We walked along the, the main front of Benidorm, and again, plenty to eat, and it's on tap, and it's really cheap. Yeah. 
you can buy buckets of beer and get yourself around on some of the scooters that are for hire. And there's an awful lot of people at three in the afternoon slaughtered. <laughs> uh, yeah, bless them. So they I'm probably had a little too much. Started maybe, a bit early, maybe perhaps. Maybe it was a bit too much sun, but the sun's not out today. Yeah. Um, there, was, there was a bit of rough and tumble down there. <laughs> yes, there was, but um, it didn't disappoint because it was what I expected. And would I come back to this part? No. But we can see how it would appeal to a lot of people. Yeah, if that's I, the sort of thing you're looking for, I think, yeah. it's perfect. I think So we've got to walk up the steps and up the hill, and it's time for coffee and cake. There they are. Carrot cake, chocolate cake. Corin doesn't like that, so I'm safe. You, I don't mind it. I might try a bit, I don't know yet. And then we got two coffees. Yep, two Americanos. Four fifty-five. Yeah. yeah. Five pints and five tapas, 12 euros. Hi, good afternoon and welcome to our second instalment from Benidorm. We're at a site called Camp Alive and we're really impressed. I'll give you a little guided tour afterwards. But where we're at, you can see behind me, is an Audi, supermarkets, petrol station, little takeaways on the corner and lots of tower blocks quite a busy place but where we're at we had to book it up a week early because there was no space and what happens if you get here and you look to get on they will allow you to park outside but you can see down the road that's parking outside waiting for a space to occur and there is another campsite opposite us and they have no spaces either so it's quite in demand and we took a walk into Benidorm main town yesterday and that took us about an hour so here's the entrance to camp alive and you'll see on the road lots of little scrapey bits it's not a particularly sharp rise ours is 6.3 meters and we scraped our camper van on the back too so mindful if you've got a long motorhome you'll probably end up scraping the tail end 
and if you turn up and you see this little cone saying parking complete though that means no room anyway so we come up the drive I'll just flick you around now so when you come up the drive you're presented with the reception very friendly staff really good dogs are of course allowed but they must be on a lead and next to reception you've got this service area which is absolutely brilliant you've got your loo you got your bin you got your drinking water and your grey waste and the site itself I'd say there's probably maybe 70 vans on site but everything is very clean it really is a superb clean site gravel underfoot it's been open about a year and I'll take you up to the loose you've got the washing machine which is five euros which with detergent included and the tumble dryers four euros so that's pretty cheap nine euros all in to get yourself a wash and a dry on over there you got that one your standard washing machine that's by appointment with reception you don't get your washing and detergent but that cost you three euros and as you can see the shower toilet block is very clean you've got three toilets three showers hand basins with electric point very clean very modern You've also got six sinks where you can do your washing up. Again, very clean, fresh, very tidy site. You've got the trees between the pitches which are slowly growing up, but I think this has only been open about a year. But we are impressed with it. And another little thing we didn't know about, up the top of here, it seems to be a sun terrace come barbecue terrace, but no pooches allowed. So we haven't been up there, but as you can see, I don't think it's open at the moment. But clearly they've got seating for sunshine, pizza ovens and barbecue points. So come peak season, looks like they even do food here, which is good. And here, don't make the same mistake as I did. This is where you come up and play uh, your badank, I think they call it, boule or big marbles. Um, I came down here and I thought, oh, that's great, that's where you exercise the dogs. But luckily there's a sign there. It is a, a sandy pit. But if you've got your um, your big marbles or your, uh, your full set of balls, you can come up here and uh, clank them around. But yeah, there's the sun terrace up there looks really nice bit of shade if you need it sites go really happy would i come here again yes 16 euros a night and electricity is 60 cents per kilowatt hour so that really isn't bad at all and today luckily uh, sun shining so even though we're hooked in we're just charging up the power banks with solar and all looking good And this is our pitch. We've pitched up gravel underfoot, so maybe not wheelchair friendly or buggy friendly, but certainly very clean. And what you get on your pitch is, there's your electricity. As I said, you get one kilowatt hour for 60 cents. You've also got grey waste. If you've got a, an outlet on your van or alternatively, and we're stuck. Grey waste in there anyway. And in here, you've got mains water, potable water. So you've got your water and your grey waste on the pitch, and your bins are outside the gate. And that's us.
Buenos dias. Hey. Hello from Benidorm. Oh, hello from Benidorm. <laughs> yeah, so today's our last day in Benidorm. We're moving on tomorrow. <laughs> we are. <laughs> what do we think? Yeah, well, I did a bit of a, a guided tour, didn't I, at the beginning? Mm -hmm. And the site, great. Really like the site. Benidorm, where we're to, I like it around the site. Benidorm isn't for me, isn't for you. Not really, no, not really. Um, uh, well, you know, I, I like to be in my bed by 10 o'clock, so uh, Benidorm's not really going to suit, is it, really, for me, that part of Benidorm. But there are other parts of Benidorm that are really good, aren't there? Yeah, I mean, I think I wanted to come and did Benidorm fail to disappoint? No, it was probably what I expected. Yeah. And, you know, we, we were walking along towards the main town and, yeah, I, I saw what I thought I might saw. Um, drunken behaviour, ponytail... A little bit of fighting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ponytail pensioners with earrings kicking off at each other. Um, People in scooters um, swerving all over the, over the sidewalk. Um, they'd obviously had a few sherbets and got behind the uh, the handlebars of their yeah. um, mobility machine. That you know you, you can hire them. So yeah, it, you know it, enjoy yourself. But by Christ, they were going fast, weren't they? They, they were quite zippy. Yeah, yeah. they and, were quite zippy. But they weren't going in straight lines. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, it was kind of what I expected. Lots of places where you can eat, mm -hmm. more places where you can drink. Um, we didn't go into the main heart of nightlife in Benidorm because... We, we wandered onto the strip. Yeah, I mean, it's not necessarily the nightlife we crave. We just wanted to go in, see what it was like, yeah. bite to eat. Tapas Alley, tremendous. Yeah, it was pretty good, Tapas Alley. Enjoyed Ali, that. Yeah. But, you know, as, as, as you've seen in the vlog, if you wanted to go in and have five pints of beer and five tapasses to go with it, mm. 12 euros. Yeah. It's... And, you know, most people were doing that for breakfast. So, you know, fair play to them if, if that's what you want to do. Yeah. That's a cheap breakfast, 12 euros. You won't see the rest of the day, but no. <laughs> some of them might actually because they yeah. did scoot off in their scooters. So... There's that side to Benidorm, and if you like that side, that's perfect. You're going to love it. Um, don't come for us in the comments and tell us that uh, we're awful people because it wasn't for us, because it's just not for us. But we quite agree it's probably for a good majority of people. Yeah. So we'll just li we'll just put that out there for you we'll, now. We'll leave that there with the ponytails and the piercings. We're just... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Benidorm, the good sides. Okay, we've done Tapas Alley. Yep. The beaches, they're just as I remember them, they're pristine. They they're are pristine very, yep. and the sea is blue and it's clean. Really, yep. really clean. And they're so proud of them and they should be. They're yes. beautiful. And one thing to bear in mind, if you're walking your dogs over here, they're not allowed on the beach. Mm -hmm. And when you're out with them, they must have a minimum of two poopy bags each. Yes. So we, we pop them in Pippa and Dolly's handbags so they've got their poopy bags ready. But... You know, they tend to do more than one. Oh, do we? Do we? Do we need to? Do we need to talk poop? No, no. Well, no. All, all I'm saying is, <laughs> do the water bottle. <laughs> you, you can take out two bags each, and then they'll have their two. So should we just say take more? Take than more than, you than need. two. Take yeah. more. Than, I'm trying to to be. I'm trying to string it out. Um, water bottle as talking, well talking, with a bit yeah. of detergent in. <clears throat> Take your water bottle for your dog so that if it does anything on the pavement, you can wash it down. Yeah, all, all, That's the locals, all they require. All the locals wash down whether dogs have weed or yeah. the dogs have done their business. You're expected to carry a water bottle and poopy bags um, at all times. Yeah. So, Benidorm, will we come back? No. No, we won't. I've been twice now. I think that's that's fine for me. Uh, 15 years ago was the last time I was here, mm. and it's amazing how much it's shot up since. In fact, um, it's quite impressive now. It reminds me a little bit of Dubai, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, I mean... Um, the, there's some quite impressive sky rises out there. There's some impressive buildings out there, and it looks great from a distance. Sky rises, is that the word, right word? Skyscrapers. 
Did I, I've mixed two words up, haven't I? Yeah. High rises, sky, sky rises. Sky rises. Let's go sky rises. Yeah. That'll work. So um, we're going to move on tomorrow to something that's perhaps a little bit more the sort of thing that we like to see. But yeah, we've done it. We're happy we've done it. Um, we, you're only getting two vlogs on it because I think obviously the last one was the Benisol. This one covers Benidorm and Camp Alive. Camp yep. Alive, 10 out of 10. If you come in, highly recommend it. The uh, Finistrat, the beach just down the road, lovely, it's beautiful down there. We that's went there twice, beach, yeah. yeah. And that's not a, a huge walk from here. Mm. Really enjoyed that. And again, the beaches are clean, the campsites are clean. Around, it's a little bit scruffy. There's quite a lot of um, muck and dirt. Here's another thing we need to address. Breakfast gate. Oh, not this again. Yes, this again. Will people leave no. my sausage alone? No. In the comments, I just sort of stumbled across them the other day. They're all in there, assigning their own values to breakfast items. Yeah, and they supported me wholeheartedly. Well, again, they are incorrect. Can't have you all out there signing your own points to individual items. It'll be chaos. So we'll just stick to my system and we'll just stick to the narrative that I was swindled. Okay? Yes, dear. <laughs> we have some thank yous. Right, we've got a super thanks for Kevin, Andrea and Ruby the dog. And Ruby likes Dolly because apparently she's the only dog on TV that Ruby doesn't bark at. Yeah. So uh, Dolly sends woofs. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys. Very kind. <laughs> Buy me a coffee from Paul and Lorraine King. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks Paul and Lorraine. Uh, we've had some coffees from Liz as well. So thank you Liz. Thank you. And also a shout out to the Meandering Manx. Oh yes. They're actually on the pitch next door to us. Yeah, we oh. came home last night and to let the dogs out for a wee last night and came face to face with them. Yeah, so we've met Steve, Susie and the dogs. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, shout out to you and hope you continue to enjoy your stay here. Yeah. We'll probably see you a bit later, but we are off tomorrow. Mm hmm Yeah, but anyway, lovely to meet you guys. That's us now till Sunday. Sign the weeks are going fast now. Do you know we've only got four weeks left? Four weeks left. Four weeks. What day is it today? Is that first, Friday? First of Feb and it is a... Thursday. Awful, awful. Thursday. Thursday, first of Feb. It's currently half past five. Yeah. So this vlog needs to get rendered, uploaded and sent to you live, fresh and fruity. I know. Not bad considering I only started it at lunchtime today. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So we shall see you on Sunday. Bye. Goodbye from the sausages. <laughs>